Are you ready to update your nervous system? So the Empower March is a quick and easy way to reset your nervous system and update your nervous system for present time need and function. Rather than responding to the past emotional stressors of yesterday or the fears of tomorrow, you can bring yourself back into the present moment in a, in a quick, easy procedure. This is the Empower March. So I'm gonna do this with you. This is gonna be the basic Empower March. And then the next video, if you wanna take it to the advanced, you can certainly look at that and learn how to update and reprogram your subconscious. So we're gonna start with the Empower March basic. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna start with the left foot forward. So the left foot is gonna go forward, the right foot is gonna go back. You wanna have your feet spread out a little bit as if you were on a railroad track so that you feel stable. If you feel wobbly at all, obviously you'll wanna be by a wall or a chair so that you can hold on and, and get balanced so you're, so you're not gonna fall over. So right, left foot forward, right foot back, we're gonna take this left knee and we're gonna bend it just so that it goes over the toes, just to the, to the back of the toes. The feet are parallel, and whatever leg is forward, the opposite arm goes up. So the, in this case, the right arm is gonna go up, the left arm is gonna go back. The hand that is up, the palms are open, the hand that is up, the thumb goes up, the hand that is back, the thumb goes down. And you're gonna take your head and tilt it slightly off center, you're gonna close the left eye in this case, and you're gonna look at the thumb with the right eye. If the left arm was up, I would be closing the right eye and looking at the thumb with the left eye. So you're looking with the eye that's closest to the arm. So again, my feet are parallel, standing on railroad, knee is slightly bent, stretching through the back leg, opening the arms up, opposite arm goes up, arms are stretching in a straight line, at a 45 degree angle, palms are open, thumbs are up in front, down and back. Head tilts slightly off the side. In this case, we're gonna close the left eye and look at the right thumb with the right eye. Take a deep breath and hold it. And you're gonna hold this breath for 10 seconds or until you need to take another breath. When your 10 seconds is up or you need another breath, bring the arms down and just turn to the other side. So here we're doing exactly the same thing, but we're in a different position. The right leg is forward, the left leg is back. The knee is bent just to the toes. The left arm goes up, the right arm goes back. Again, stretching through that back leg, stretching through the fingertips, palms open wide, left thumb up, right thumb down, tilt your head off midline, close the right eye, look at the left thumb with the left eye, take a deep breath and hold your breath. You're gonna hold your breath for 10 seconds or until you need another breath. And when you need another breath, release your arms and simply turn to the opposite side. So we're gonna do this three times on each side. Bend into that front knee, extend through the back leg, right arm up, left arm back, reach through the arms at a 45 degree angle. Tilt the head a little bit offside, close the left eye, take a deep breath and hold. Relax your breath, switch to the other side. Left leg is back, right leg is forward, bend through that front knee, stretch through that back leg, inhale the arms up, right arm goes up, or I'm sorry, left arm goes up, right arm goes back. Deep breath, close your right eye, Release, turn to the opposite side. We've got two more to go. Left leg is front, right leg is back. Bend into that front knee, inhale the right arm up, close the left eye, head comes off center, deep breath and hold. And release, you got one more right here, deep breath. Inhale the left arm up, bend into that right knee, head off center, close the right eye, deep breath and hold. Release, 
and take a little walk. And just feel what's changed in your body. Feel how the energy is moving. It maybe feels like you even just did a cardio workout. Your heart rate is up. Your breath is deeper. Your nervous system is actually more balanced. So it's really important for babies to go through the cross-crawl pattern when they're learning to crawl. So many parents like to try to make their babies walk before they crawl or not even really honoring the crawling uh, time during the baby's life. And the cross-crawl pattern actually supports proper neurological uh, evolution in a, in a child. So when there's not the cross-crawl pattern is passed, there could possibly be some neurological issues or brain dysfunction or ADD or those kinds of things. So this is just a, really a way for you to remind your body of its natural pattern, of its natural gift of balance. Remind the innate intelligence and the wisdom within your body that it has the power to heal. And when you're in this process, and we're going to go more into that in the advanced Empower March, but when you're doing this procedure, you're actually connecting to yourself and to something greater so that you're in alignment on all levels. And that alignment allows the innate intelligence, the power that created your body to heal your body, and it does that. So if you're working on something like healing a back pain or an ankle pain or a mental block or inability to break through a pattern, maybe a, a habit of overeating or eating too late at night or um, feelings of shame or self-doubt, we can work through all of that. Go ahead and if you're interested in that part, go ahead and look at the Empower Advanced uh, video that I'm going to send right after this. And uh, you'll be able to uh, just really start tapping into those deeper layers of yourself. All right. I'm Dr. Brandy Victory. Thank you for sharing this with me. <laughs>